Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example, again, uh, includes three fractions. We're adding them together. We have three different denominators. And now we're supposed to look for the lowest common denominator. We could multiply them all together. If we did, the, low, the denominator would be 6,000. And I don't think you want to work with denominators that are that big. So let's find the lowest common denominator. And we have two methods to do so. The first method is to take the largest one and find multiples of the largest one until we find one where the other two denominators fit evenly into. So starting with 40, you can see that 10 fits evenly into 40, but 15 does not. So now we try twice 40, 2 times 40. So 2 times 40 gives us 80. And does 15 fit into 80 evenly? And the answer is no. So we move on to the next one. 3 times 40, that's equal to 120. Does 15 fit evenly into 120? And the answer is yes. Does 10 fit evenly into 120? And the answer is yes as well. So now we found our lowest common denominator, 120. Let's try the second method. For the second method, we take each of the three denominators and write them as a product of its factors. So 40 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 5 is 40. Notice that 2 appears 3 times, 5 appears once. For 15, that is equal to 3 times 5, so the fact that 3 appears once and the fact that 5 appears once. And 10 can be written as 2 times 5, so the fact that 2 appears once and the fact that 5 appears once. Notice the fact that 5 appears in each of the three numbers, but we only have to count for it once. And that's the beauty of the LCD, the lowest common denominator, that we only have to take each factor once, even though it appears three times uh, in the case of 5 here. But the factor 2 appears three times here, 0 times here, and 1 time there, so we take 3 times 2. The fact that 3 appears once here, nowhere else, but we do have to take it into account because it appeared once. And the fact that 5 appears once here, once there, and once there, but we only count for it one time. So then you can see that the lowest common denominator, the LCD, is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 3, which is equal to 120, which is the same lowest common denominator that we found using this method. It seemed like each method took about the same amount of time. So here we know that we now are going to have three fractures with a new denominator of 120. And to find the corresponding numerators, what we do here is we say, well, to get from 40 to 120, I have to multiply the denominator times 3. 3 times 40 is 120, which means I have to multiply the numerator by 3. So again, we do exactly the same to the numerator as we did to the denominator. To turn 15 into 120, I had to multiply times 8, so I must do the same with the numerator. 10 times 12 will give us 120, so I have to multiply the numerator by 12 as well. So now we can go ahead and find the new numerators. 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 8 is 16, and 7 times 12, that would be 84. 84 plus 16 is 100, plus 9 is 109, so this is equal to... 9 plus 16 plus 84 over the common denominator of 120, which is equal to 109 over 120. And since 109 is a prime number, we, don't, we can't reduce that one anymore. So again, we had our two methods. It seems like either method was just about as fast as the other. So here it becomes purely a matter of which method you prefer. Do you prefer this method or that method? You can clearly see that any one of those two works just fine. And that's how it's done.